welcome to VSR Tech Info YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe to receive new notification. In this video, we will look at continuous ink supply system for inkjet printers CISS. CISS CISS also referred to as CIS consists of large ink tanks or reservoirs which can hold 60 to 100 ml of ink placed outside the printer and are connected via multi-channel silicon rubber tubes one tube per color to the print head which can hold between 7 ml to 10 ml of ink one end of the multi-channel tubing is connected to ink cartridges and travels along with it during printing operation while the other end is attached to ink tanks which is stationary. Now we will look at the multi-channel ink tubes that are connected to print head which travels along with the print head. As shown in this video we are now seeing that the ink tubes are moving along with the print head. The other end of the multi-channel ink tubes are connected to the stationary ink tanks. Now we are seeing the other end is connected to ink tanks. Operating principle of CISS. CISS operates on the principle of pressure balance based on Merito's bottle design. Merito bottle is a device that delivers a constant rate of flow from closed bottles or tanks. It is named after French physicist Edmi Merito. A stopper reservoir is supplied with an air inlet and a siphon. The pressure at the bottom of the air inlet is always the same as the pressure outside the reservoir that is atmospheric pressure. If it were great, air would not enter. If the entrance of the siphon is at the same depth, then it will always supply water at the atmospheric pressure and it will deliver a flow under constant head height regardless of the changing water level within the reservoir. Construction of CISS ink tanks Each ink tank in CISS has two chambers. A large chamber which is filled with ink and a small chamber which holds the atmospheric pressure inside ink tank. On top of each ink tank there are two ones. A small air breather vent with plug on small chamber and a large ink refilling vent with plug on large chamber. Ink refilling vents are closed with a rubber plug provided after refilling tanks. Air breather vents need to be opened or placed with air filter caps while printing to allow the atmospheric pressure inside ink tank. When printer is not in use, close all the plugs to maintain the pressure balance. The small plug is for air breather vent and the large one is for the ink refilling vent. This is the large chamber and this is the small chamber. And these are the filter caps which need to be placed on the small vents at the time of printing. Operation of CISS system. CISS system has ink tanks and cartridges. These are the ink tanks and these are the cartridges. First, let us assume that the CISS is primed. That is, from cartridges to ink tanks, there are no air bubbles in between. From cartridges to ink tanks, there are no air bubbles in between. After priming is done, cartridges are at low pressure and ink tanks are at high pressure. 
Now, when the printer prints something, print head ejects ink from it on the paper. This creates a negative pressure in the ink cartridges, which in turn draws a small amount of ink from the ink tanks. The ink that flows out from the ink tank creates a pressure difference in the ink tanks small chamber which pulls in more air from air vent. This air reaches to the top of the ink chamber and pushes the ink down in the ink chamber, thus maintaining the pressure balance again. When printer starts using ink during printing, priming or cleaning, negative pressure starts to build up in the cartridges which in turn draws the required quantity of ink from the ink tank and thus maintains pressure balance. This keeps the cartridges topped up all the time. Note, ink tanks and printer should be at the same level for proper functioning of CISS. Ink tanks and the print head should be on the same level. Ink can be easily added to ink tanks using a funnel or with a large syringe when the level decreases to a low. CISS can extend your printer's ink capacity by approximately 10 times between refills. The external ink tanks are transparent and it's easy to see how much ink is left over. How to balance CISS to work correctly. Close all the color plugs on top of the ink tanks. Rotate the ink tank assembly gently to the right side so that small plugs are on higher side than big plugs. Leave for few seconds for air balance correction by itself. Roll back now to upright position. The small chamber where small plug sits above should now have 2 to 3 cm of ink in it. This balance is needed for CISS to work correctly. Now open the small plugs on top of the tanks, keeping big plugs closed. Then install the cartridges in printer and start printing. If you forget to open the small plugs, ink will not flow through the tube and affects printing. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like VSR Tech Info.